Hi, I'm Kenny Yates, and this is Nuggets of Truth. What I've come to realize is that people can see and understand the love of Jesus, the love that Jesus has for each and every one of us, but they're not so clear on the Father's love. They don't understand how much the Father truly loves us. Look with me at one of the most beloved scriptures of all times, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That is an exact quote, and we quote it exactly, which is good. But here's the thing, even though we quote it exactly, we misinterpret it subconsciously. This is how we interpret it. For God, Jesus the Son, so loved the world that He, Jesus, came to die for us, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. But that is not what the scripture says at all. It says that God, the Father, so loved the world that He gave his only son. Jesus did not come to the earth because he loved us so much. He came in obedience to the Father's plan and to the Father's will. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that Jesus did not love us because if he didn't, his Father would never have asked him to do something that he utterly despised. And the reason for that is that the Father and the Son are one. Their thoughts are one. Their plans are one. This is what Paul tells us. He tells us that Christ loved the church so much that the church, that's us, the saved, the redeemed, that he gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word so that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 through 27 but that is not our argument I'm simply stating that it was the father's love it was the father's plan and it was the father's will that sent Jesus to the earth to die for a rebellious and sinful world now I want you to look with me at John chapter 6 verse 38 through 40 for I have come down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him who sent me and this is the will of him who sent me that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me but raise it up on the last day for this is the will of my father that everyone who looks on the son and believes in him should have eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day Jesus himself tells us very plainly that he came in accordance with the Father's will and not his own will. Therefore, we can understand Jesus' love for us and his love for the Father that he came in obedience to the plan and the will of the Father. That throws a whole different light on the substance of John 3.16. A lot of Christians, and maybe you might be one of them, believe that the Father is the disciplinarian and Jesus is the one saying, forgive them, I love them. While it is the Father who is so desired to forgive us that he made a way to forgive us by sending his own son to die so that we would not be sentenced to eternity away from him. I was told a story about a Christian woman who was so distressed about receiving the punishment of the Father that she had to seek secular counseling and would be depressed for periods of times over it. That woman did not know, nor did she understand, the love of the Father. She did not fully grasp that it was not Jesus who one day decided to come because of his great love for humanity, but instead it was the great love of the Father for humanity that he sent his son to die. This is not to say that Jesus did not love us, because Jesus did love us, 
and Jesus still loves us because he could have called 10,000 angels to come and defend him. But then, how would we be saved? Let me read that account for you. Matthew chapter 26, verse 53 through 54. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? I want to summarize this for you in just two sentences. It was the love of the father that sent Jesus to die for the sins of the world. But it was the love of Jesus that kept him on the cross. Therefore, the Father loves us and Jesus loves us equally. They both gave their very best. Everything they had to give, they gave to save us. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and then share it with friends. Also, if you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell, you'll be assured to never miss one of our posts whenever we upload a new video. If you want to grow your relationship with God and have a daily devotional sent directly to your phone or your email, subscribe to our website, holdthehope.org, or join our Telegram channel, Hold the Hope. We also have a quiz channel that you can have some fun while testing your biblical knowledge and your skills with our Bible quiz. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenny Yates, and this was Nuggets of Truth. Until next time, be blessed and stay blessed.